Welcome everyone back to the Game Vault Podcast Twitch stream. We are tonight we are streaming our retro roulette game F Zero X for the N64. And before I do anything else, I need to change my stream information because it still says Mark's information. Yeah, and this is worse than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not that bad, Mark. I said worse than I remember, and I didn't say that it's a bad thing, but I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. They still did the black screen. <laughs> yeah. All right. Got my settings updated. It's always something on this stream, everybody. Exactly. Okay. We're up to date now. Look at that. Yay. Welcome, welcome back. Happy Memorial Day. Hope you guys enjoyed your your day. Hope you were social distancing as good as possible. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Uh, I did a little indoor cookout for myself. Had some hot dogs, hamburgers, potato salad. Nice. Yeah. All the fixins. Yeah. Everything that that's easy to cook with that I wouldn't need a grill for. Yeah. But I was thinking of getting ribs, but I was like, ah. <laughs> you know. Don't want to go too crazy, right? Exactly. Yeah, it's just... It becomes a whole thing when you start involving, um, you know, two and a half hours in an oven. And... Oh, yeah, believe me, I know. <laughs> screen size is right and then we will get started it looks like it's a regular four by three box in there so. it is i just want to make sure like i don't i'm not cutting off too much on the right hey, there. here we can start awesome okay i do like one of my favorite things about um these games is when they uh, oh, put the miles per hour, kilometers per hour. Yeah. Up there. When it's like a thousand miles an hour. <laughs> All right, let's get started here. Uh, I think we're gonna just gonna do GP to start. Yeah, that's probably a good way to do it. We'll go novice because God knows I'm gonna be terrible at this. Oh, I forgot about this. There's like a million people you can choose from. Always pick Captain Falcon. What are you doing? I never pick Falcon. Falcon. I'm always <laughs> this. I'm always the pink dude. He's the only one I know by name. I know there's a Fox McCloud reference in this game. I think. Isn't it bad in it or something? It's supposed to be, but it might not be at the same time. Maybe it's not this one. Maybe that's a. Maybe that's GX. Because I don't see. The R wing here. Yeah, it may not be this one. Or I didn't unlock it yet, one or the other. Let's go with the dinosaur. Fuck it. Ooh. Oh, what do I want? Acceleration or max speed? We want max speed. All right. So as you all are going to figure out, this game is freaking fast, fast paced, and you there's not really a whole lot of room for error. So playing this on stream might not be the best idea. Yeah. Mark, I'm going to need you to pay extra attention to chat because I'm going to have yeah. to be like hyper focused. Well, I already missed one. It said pick the green one. Oh. But you're right. It's okay. <laughs> God knows with the delay if you were we would even see that before you picked. Alright, I don't remember what button is boost. I think it's Z. Is this one of those things where we figure out a button that we neither of us knew for twenty years? It might be. So I can't I for the life of me I there it is. Boost is B. 
Also, boost in this, like in the original game, on the SNES, you got like those S things. In this game, it takes your energy when you boost. Hmm. So you only have so much energy before you have to stop boosting. Thank you. And you can boost as much as you want up until that point. Yeah, it's. I guess it's. it might have been one of the maybe first to do that. I'm not sure. Um, would have to do research on that and not something that I thought about doing before here. But it sounds a lot like Burnout Paradise is. Uh, they have a burn meter. Yeah, it's, it seems kind of similar to that, for sure. Yeah, yeah, and like when you're out of it, you can't boost anymore, but then you get it back slowly. Yeah, it's almost like a nitrous type deal. But I think if you run out of it, you die in this. I could be <laughs> wrong. Ooh, that's... Yes, Dan, this is the N64. Some might call it the greatest <laughs> the greatest console of all time. Yes, yeah, so how's it feel so far? It feels pretty good. I mean, the controls in this game are super tight. That's the that's one of the nice things. Like, it's very responsive, which can be a hindrance somewhat, some places, but I feel like in a 60 FPS racer like this, it's very much ne necessary that it's very responsive. Yeah, and it doesn't seem to have any of the randomness that Wave Race had. Yeah, this is... In, in terms of the waves. Yeah, it's very much set. Like, you don't have to worry about like random crap jumping out in front of you unless it's a car also in this rate this game it doesn't seem like there are um like cars that'll just blow up in front of you kind of like the original and, yeah, and it's, and, yeah. Only snaps. now what is your what's the significance of rival uh i think it's just someone that is like always next to you i'm not sure exactly I think they that's they want you to beat that person. Like coming in first is obviously what you want to do, but rival I think is like the next closest in points to you. Okay. Oh, okay, that makes more sense now. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Um, I never I forgot all about that system. In it. No, no surprise, I've been playing an awful lot of PC games. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Apparently, Jonathan has too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so I guess I didn't unlock him yet. That's that's James McCloud is supposed wow. to be Star Fox's yeah. quote-unquote father or something. Is that, um... It would, I would hope it's some kind of experiment that made Fox, or else Nintendo is... Uh, rubber stamping bestiality it's i forget how they because he's kind of half fox too he's got fox ears and stuff so it's hard to tell how exactly it worked something about this game that i absolutely love the music it's awesome Yeah, I think it's the thing I'm finding as I get older that I'm getting more attuned to. Because two of my... One of my favorite games of the last probably this generation, Persona 5, is great music. Yeah. And, and Remake does as well. Dan, can you tell me if you're hearing the game audio doubled? I thought I had it figured out, but I kind of feel like it's happening. I 
can't tell. Because I'm, like, in a tunnel, so it might be the tunnel. Okay. I... I can try. I think it might be the tunnel. I think I'm getting the yips with the <laughs> audio. No. Okay, good. Awesome. It must have just been the tunnel reverberating. Yeah, I'm doing my, uh, if you didn't catch it on Discord, experiment of just building a nice house and then just letting my sims do what they want. Oh. <laughs> you're you're on that step right now? Yeah. Well, I'm controlling them a little bit because I want things to happen. Like, I... Like my next step in the experiment is they're they already have one kid, they're about to have a second. So I wanna see what happens with like two different age levels. Just setting it on in the background. Because now for the first time ever I don't have to worry about that or have a really slow system in terms of playing it um on a console. Yeah, I mean Sims 4 should run perfect on that system. Yeah, yeah. No, I yeah, I, I think we're past that point where I'm like, oh, this is running great on my system. <laughs> um, You've discovered that it should all run great? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, finally, for the first time, I can do what I wanted to do. exciting i uh i actually have something to say that i watched in the they call this a movie part where they go hey what movies have you been watching <laughs> you watch something movie, yeah well i watched an old movie that i really liked and hurts to be in a wallflower thanks to john mentioning it in chat <laughs> um like two weeks ago but yeah it's usually like yeah i watched the last dance <laughs> but that's about it yeah yeah I've been watching all like the 30 for 30s lately um I just watched the um July 17th 1994 one. Oh yeah or June 17th 1994 forget which one. I think it's June it's June it's cause it's the NBA finals right it might be June 14th maybe or 17th I think it was the 17th But it was a uh, fascinating. Uh, all the stuff going on at that all, one time. All the stuff happening on the same day. Yeah. So this is an interesting track. You're kind of driving on a tube. Okay. Oh, on top of the tube. Yeah. Okay. So you got to figure out what part of the tube is the best to be on because there's like boosts on some parts of the tube I don't remember if there's brakes in this at all I can't remember I, 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 I only use brakes in like simulation racing games well in these games sometimes it's necessary I don't know that I'm I think they're more necessary on like the higher difficulties. Like novice, I don't think it's really a problem. But novice is not easy. <laughs> so. Yeah. I never said I was any good. <laughs> Where oh. I don't break. Uh, gotta get your rival, Tom. This is not going well. I'm getting my ass kicked. Because I don't know where I should be on this thing. Yeah, I just missed another one. Is there enough of rubber banding that you don't fall too far behind? 
Yeah, I'm not too far behind, but... Oh, shit. Well, that's fine. It is insane, Dan. It's, it's really fast. <laughs> Luckily, I think I'm, like, so far ahead in rank that it shouldn't be... It shouldn't knock me out of first, yeah. That's always great when you look at the thing and you're like, okay. I was happening a lot in Wave Race. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, because it's very easy to like get knocked out of first in that game. Okay, I I don't have to worry about being in first. There's ice there. Oh, ice physics. Oh. Also, there's 30 fucking cars in this. <laughs> they have, they have to I worry guess, about I guess, I guess they heard the, uh, the complaint that, oh, there's all these random cars on the road. You run into them. Well, now they're all in the race. Pretty much. I keep missing these boosts. It's killing me. You, are you aware of any shortcuts like the famous Rainbow Road in Mario? Park? I know there are shortcuts in some levels, but I don't know if they're in every level. Crap. My, my favorite thing about the Sims while I have this on my side screen um, is that they they seem to incorporate what I imagine part of married life would be is that at one point my the Sim is like practicing the speech in the mirror and the <laughs> wife just comes in and goes pee <laughs> luckily not all married life is like that <laughs> it, no, I'm just saying to the sense like they know that you're the Sims are married so it's like they don't go into embarrassment as soon as someone walks in the bathroom you know they don't die of embarrassment there's yeah yeah hey I, I got first hey great Thousand kilometers per hour. <laughs> I love that it gives you top speed. That's great. The cool thing about this is the tracks are super short. So it doesn't take very long to get through a race because it's only like four laps. Yeah. It's not, what was it, six or seven in Wave Race? Yeah, depending on the track. Alright, can I get back to the home screen now? Oh, we're going to lift me up on a pedestal? Uh, I hope I unlock James McLeod. I'd like to try that <laughs> character. It's so amazing. This is so 1998 or whatever, whenever this came yeah. out. Thanks is for that playing. Your face? Yeah, that was the Biorex's face. Okay, get me back to the home screen now. Thank you. All right. We'll go with uh, the Queen Cup. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can find McCloud here. I must have missed him. He wouldn't be great Fox, right? No, his name, I'm pretty sure it's just called the guy's name. There it goes. Oh, one, more, one up. He's the uh, fourth one on the first row. Oh, there it is. No? Yeah, that's it. Okay. 
It doesn't say his name. But that's him. Pretty sure, right? That one? Yeah. 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 There he is. Uh, let's see. Let's go a little towards max speed. Yeah, he has everything but uh, a strong chassis. So it's like level E. Yeah, that's probably going to bite me. <laughs> I like that there's so many characters to pick from. Like, in the original game, you have four. Now you got 30. It's amazing that one of them made it into Smash Brothers. I mean, he's like the he's the Smash face Brothers. of the game, so... I'm just saying that it's amazing that an F-Zero character made it into Smash Brothers at all. I, I For some reason, I feel like F-Zero is way more popular in Japan than it is here. I think it had an anime and everything else. That would make a little more sense. It just always made me laugh that the cover athlete for a racing game made it into the fighting game. Well, I, yeah, like I said, I think there's like an anime where he's like... Have you ever seen Speed Racer? Yeah. I think he's kind of like that. Where he's like fighting evil at the same time as trying to be a racer. And I think there's like a whole like GBA game that goes into that too. Where uh, it's like GP Legends or something. I forget what it's called. But it's something like that. I did it. Great place. Didn't crash out. Not yet. I gotta go check something with a wire. Give me like five seconds. Alright. I'll try to hold down the fort, Mark. Dan, how was your Memorial Day? You guys celebrating Jenny's birthday? I'm back. I All was right, hearing some feedback on my end. Okay. So I have seen a wire was like twisted up or something. Can you let me know what Dan said? I, I, I couldn't look down and read it. <laughs> he said that he, um, they had some Beyond Burgers today for, I guess, Memorial Day or Jen's birthday or both. And that they had a cake for her and it looked like a fox. <laughs> or maybe Fox McCloud. It just says I like fox. I think he's talking about my character looks like Fox. Oh, okay. That would make more sense. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of picking up the uh, Beyond Burgers for like 50% off at the like, which store. See a shop right or Acme. Oh, nice. Mine was good. I got to see the family a little bit. Nice. We uh, hung out, you know, like 10 feet apart. Didn't go in anybody's house. <laughs> but yeah, my parents were in town from Ohio, so I got oh, to nice. see them for a little bit. Dan, I think I still have some of yours here from like the last time we barbecued, which was like months, months, maybe it might have been last year.
Yeah, I wish they sold them more than two in a pack. Yeah, I was thinking about doing it because I, uh, on Friday, God days when it was either Friday or Saturday. Um, I had uh, they had a sale on. Um, they had sea scallops were like pretty cheap, um, so I got a half pound of those. And then they had salmon burgers too for four dollars. Um, so I picked those up, and then I was like, ah, oh, maybe I'll get the Beyond burgers. But then I realized I had. You know, I know this is great, riveting stuff for the audience out there. <laughs> um, hey, it's a holiday. That's what we're talking about. I had a, I had regular, uh, regular cow burgers in the, uh, in the freezer that I went to get rid of for some room. So I ate those. Yeah, Dan, yours are in the freezer, so they should be fine. Yeah, that, that's my problem. Being at home cooking. Is that I see all these sales for like meat and stuff like that, and, yeah. And then I go, oh, and I go buy that, and then there's I still have half a freezer full of stuff because I'm an idiot. We always have too much. Food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I have the the added issue with you know I take care of my grandmother; she can only eat certain things. Which means that if I buy meat, I have to make sure it's just for me and not buying like a family pack of chicken or something like that. I think the best thing of the Beyond that I had was I used the uh, Beyond sausage. Okay. In like a, um, I made little, uh, little personal pizzas. Mm hmm. And I use that for the sausage instead of actual sausage. Oh, I'm sure it, it helped. Really... I'd say it sure holds up pretty good in that yeah. point. Yeah it, what, yeah, it wasn't so. It was the, the thing I found and what I was hoping for was that it, it wasn't as greasy. And was that t correct? It wasn't as greasy as regular sausage? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, so. Was it ground or was it like you sliced it up? Sliced it up. They were links. Holy shit. Well, I may crash out of this one. <laughs> it's always a good sign at the very beginning. I just keep... Everybody keeps fucking running into me. I'm about to blow up. Yep. You can do it. Nah. It's alright. I got like eight lives or something. I just want to retire. Let's, uh, let's knock down the max speed because I don't think I need it on this track. I wish there was a way to upgrade your parts like in between races but it uh, doesn't look like that's a thing. That's my only gripe so far, besides the fact that this is super intense and you have to actually be paying attention. So a car blew up already. Yeah, that E rating's gonna kill you. Yep, that's really what the problem is right now. I also di didn't know how, like, you gotta kind of, uh, figure out the track. You gotta kind of memorize it a little bit. Otherwise, you just keep running into the damn wall like that. Yeah, it's kind of like, I, I, by the end of the, uh, going through the wave race, you got, you got to know where everything was. That's that's a lot simpler of a game than this. Yes. This you kind of have to pay attention to what the hell's going on. It sucks that your rivals in first, so you have to finish first. Yes, it does. 
And I also can't use boost because I'll blow up. Even though I... Oh, come on, baby. Yes. There you go. Nice. That was some clutch. Uh... Uh, boost what I couldn't think of the word energy, <laughs> it's sort of... energy thing hey, I don't know what you what you call it either it's just boost yeah boost boost power boost power that's another thing I noticed on all these n64 games the uh Doing that, that like 360 camera. Whoa! Swirl. What the hell just happened? <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know what just happened. I just got knocked off the level. That was weird. Yeah, I, I would like to say that it looked like you went through the level, but I, I couldn't tell either. Oh, there's no... That's why. Alright. There's, no there's no wall there. So you can just fly off. Alright, this uh, this may be a little tougher than last. <laughs> Alright. So is this like they say in the speedrun, serious time? This is serious time. This is when you lean forward. So I've already died. Uh, yeah, I've already died twice on this level. Yeah, so while I'll let you concentrate, um, I'll see if Dan's still around. Dan, uh, how was Civ Six? I know you uh, went through a war with Spain. I finished my uh, second playthrough. I got to figure out how to win not science and not domination the diplomatic I lucked into it the one time I did it because at one point I looked up and I had um I was like leading by like six diplomatic points for victory and I'm like oh how the hell that happened I got a feeling the culture's the toughest. Cause you gotta... I got a feeling it's like a very specific build right from the beginning. That was, uh, that was stressful. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah, I need to jump into Civ. I don't know that I have enough time. <laughs> how, like, how long does an actual game last? Like, it hours? It'll take you a few days, yeah. And you can always split it up over days. Well, yeah. I know you can, like, come back to it and stuff, but... Yeah. I've never I played a... I've never played a Civ game. You'll probably finish somewhere between 350 and 450 turns. Okay. Depending on how good you enter of oh, 500. Um, usually with science, you're eking closer to that 500, depending on which civilization you are. Because mm -hmm. if you're trying to win a science victory with a, with a civilization that's not known for science... It's more difficult. Yeah, it's more This is going to be a tough race. There's another section where there's no guards. Oh. I do not know how you stayed off. Luck. Get out 
out of the way, jackass. I can't imagine it's on the higher level. This is novice, by the way, folks. I just blew up again. Oh, I don't know. Might have to try this again with a different car. Look at my ass handed to me. Yeah, my new favorite Civ thing is, um... Uh, playing on the True Start Earth map. Mm hmm You know, and then doing, like, random, um... Like, uh, Civs you're against. And then, like, seeing who you end up next to. Oh, I thought I'd fallen off there. And I'm gonna blow up instead. I lost my machine, Mark. Not good. All right, let's try a same thing, different car, because clearly picking a car with an E body was a humongous mistake. Um, all right, I'm going to go with the pink one, just because that's who I always pick. <laughs> if this doesn't work out, you should go with the green one. I'll, yeah. Yeah, I've never played a Civ game before, so I would probably be super lost in the beginning. Is there a tutorial level? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's a there's a tutorial that basically will explain most of it, but you have to play through a game to get it. Okay. Like the strategy of it. Right. Well, I imagine it's like, you know, Risk or anything else like that. Yeah, yeah, it's essentially, it's essentially that. Um, it's just knowing, like, how to, um... Like what path to take? To, like sometimes you have to decide in the beginning um, which victory condition you want. Oh, you do. You kind of have to. Yeah, except figure for it out beforehand. Well, no, all, all of them except for I think the diplomat one. Um, not forces you to play, but you have to. Like diplomat and science, you can basically do without. Not without trying, but, you know, the game pushes you towards the science. Okay. Have you, have you had to nuke anybody yet? Uh, I haven't had to. I beat a game, and then I did the one more turn thing where you, um, you go back in, and I just went back in and, you know, had some, not fun, but... I want to see, because I haven't had the nuke in 6 yet. I know mm. what 5 does. Um, but yeah, 6, it, um, it's got a couple of new touches to it. They got thermonuclear devices, which is, you know, a bigger blast. It can affect mm. multiple cities, which is interesting. Global thermonuclear war. Just that. It's interesting. The um, I got the one thing I'm still not good at is figuring out which sieves are good at what. You know, like I played as Alexander and just kept playing my normal way and completely forgot that it would probably be better. Um, to play if, like domination yeah but i won with science and then the last one i won as the nubian empire and mm. then they just focused but i won with science and it took me down to like the almost the final turns because it's so hard for them to generate science 
but I tried to win a culture victory because I'm not really great at science victories yet. I'm not signing some religious victories yet. But yeah, it's it's it'll be interesting to see once you guys play a little bit. You know, there's a multiplayer. You know, we don't have to do it for content, but you know, I just want to see how that works. Because I remember back that. in the day, the old. Uh, Um, I just got beat by one. I think that's why I said that. Yeah. Or is he talking about Nubians? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the, uh... Yeah, it was, um... I think next up is, uh, Catherine Diminici. I think is next in the alphabetical order. But I remember with the, uh, um, back in the day when I, when we tried to play a Age of the Empires 2, you know, over old, good old 56k, you know, <laughs> and then, you know, in a broadband, how terrible that was, but still great at the same time, because we were still playing with our friends in a different house, this is amazing! Yeah, just the fact that you weren't, you were playing, yeah. and the person was not sitting next to you. No matter how slow it was. I remember playing Diablo on dial-up and just being like, holy shit, this is incredible. There's other people playing this game right now at the same time as me? Yeah. Hello. Hey. 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 How's it going? Pretty good. Yeah? How's the game? Good. Awesome. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I love this game. Oh, you do? Okay. I love it. It's hard, but I love it. It looks like one of those games where you can very easily fly out of control. Uh, yes. Is that accurate? Yeah. That is very accurate. I've already done it a few times on one of the tracks <laughs> that I'm about to do. Yeah. Tom uh, crashed out, but, you know, hasn't set on fire or anything yet. Oh, okay. That's good. So, happy birthday, Jen. Oh, thanks. I was outside with a little bonfire before. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, did, uh, did big old manly man say he had to put it out? <laughs> he helped me. <laughs> he made the whole process go faster because he was, like, pouring some water on it, and then we had to put all the, the lawn stuff away, so so I can jump on there. Is his big brawny muscles help yeah. put out the fire. <laughs> Those gains. The gains, yeah. The gains the did gains. It. it. He scared the fire away. Yeah, that's what it was. He flexed at the fire and it went out. <laughs> Who is the person uh, in second place? They are absolutely terrifying. Oh, now they're in third. Oh, no. Back in second. Uh, The person in third place? That's me the right now. The person in second place. Oh, that's she Captain keeps Falcon. going. Now she's in fourth place. Sorry, I know there's a delay, so it's probably. Oh yeah, I gonna... can't. I have no clue. It's a woman. It's like the monster-looking woman. Yeah, she looks like that or something. Yeah, there are 30 characters in this game, so. Oh wow. Yeah, they basically took. Remember when we played F Zero uh -huh. on SNES, and yeah. we kept complaining about, oh, there's all these random cars on the road that means nothing. Yeah. Well, Nintendo just said, well, F you. They're all <laughs> racers now. So oh, now there's 30 cars. 30 cars. Okay. This game is like a rainbow level in a... called? Mario Kart. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's like every level. The time, I'm like, there has to be shortcuts like that one. Yeah. Like, that's the Probably. only shortcut I know in video games. Like... That I learned at a uh, young age. I think the first time I ever saw, because I was pre-internet, was someone fell off and uh, then landed on the track. 
You're probably like, holy you're crap, right. how'd you do that? <laughs> you're still in the race? Yeah. And then, yeah. When you, then you see the little preview, and they were like miles ahead of everyone else. He's awesome. Yeah, it's that, it's that first little hump. You can hump and drop down, and you go down to like the last turn of Rainbow Road. Uh. That's how speedrunners. There, there's that one, and then there's the shortcut in the uh, Wario Stadium. Oh yeah. Where you yep. can essentially finish that in like four minutes or something. Well, I don't even think it's that long. Play. Yeah, you keep hopping over this one thing, and you hop right to the end. The game is like mesmerizing to watch. Yeah. So this game is was super ambitious for the N64. Most N64 games ran at about 20 FPS. This is running at a full 60. Wow, really? Yeah. It is very smooth. That's the like one of the good things about it is it's very responsive and it's very smooth. Yeah. It is. So oh. it's something I really enjoy about. Uh, uh, Go was ahead. This, uh, was this early on, or this, did you need the expansion pack for this? Um, you did not need the expansion pack for this because it didn't. Um, it didn't run at a higher resolution. It just ran at a higher frame rate. So they they just made it. They got it to run this well. Uh, Sega made this game. I don't know how many people actually know that. Sega made F Zero X and GX. That's weird. I'm trying to think of the timing. Some of these characters are very interesting. <laughs> that looking one that keeps popping up, he's gone now. Yeah, there's some creepy looking dudes. <laughs> yeah, you can it's tell who the real. artist uh spent most of their time on and who they just threw yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. Uh, yeah, so Fox McCloud's father is in this game. Are there I'm any other sure cameos? He's, I'm pretty sure he's the dude in third right now. No. I'm pretty <laughs> sure he is. That doesn't look like the photo from the... Um... I don't think it is. I think they... I think they look different. Oh! Oh! Oh no! This delay. <laughs> oh! I somehow oh. saved that. Good job. That's insane. <laughs> nope. Nah, I fucked it up. I got knocked off the right uh, right no. after that. It's all right. I think this is the last yeah. track, and I have like eight lives. So. Oh. Are we setting another speedrun record tonight? No, I already I already blew that. <laughs> I've already crashed out of this tournament once, so I'm tr gonna try not to do it again. It really doesn't even matter where I finish in this because I think I finished first in all the other tracks. So I just need wow. to stay on the track. And I fucked it up. God damn it! Uh, that's like the that's like the equivalent in bowling when you know how many pins you need to win. Yeah. Yeah. It's the worst. I almost would rather not know. So, uh, how's Dan enjoying the computer? <laughs> Loves it. He played Civilization VI for. I think. Probably like 24 hours straight, right? Two days. That's what, crazy. What time, what time did you start playing it the other day? He played till a very late hour, or morning <laughs> hour. So did uh, I. Friday into Saturday. No, Saturday into Sunday. And then yesterday into today, he was up until like two. And then we were playing it for a while today. So I'm sure it is equal 24 hours. Yeah, like I said, most games, you know, they're they take a while. Yeah. Only because sometimes 
you know, uh, turns take about a minute or more, and there's almost, there's close to 500 of them, so. Yeah. It's a little tricky to pick up. I didn't notice that there was a tutorial, so when you start the single player, it asks you if you're um, new to Civilizations, period, or if you're just new to Civilization Six. So I clicked new to it in, you know, like, in total, and then it didn't do anything. So I was like, okay. Oh, I think this first game that I'm in is gonna, like, be horrible, and then my next game will be better, because now I know how to play. Like, all the yeah. functions. So. Yeah, It's very cool. Now, Jen, are you on the computer right now? Yep. You sound so much better. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing to be able to watch Twitch and be on Discord with a normal connection. Like, a great connection. But not feel like it's going to thing. explode? Right. Yeah. <laughs> computer just wouldn't... I think it was just Mac CPU. Probably. Handle it. I can imagine that's what it was. You did it. Yeah, I was saying to Tom um, that the um, scroll down so I can see. Oh, sorry, I went too fast. <laughs> to see Fox's photo. I'll go through uh, it on the next cup. Uh, what's it called? Um, I was saying before you got here that once uh, if Tom plays it some and you get a little more comfortable with it, we should try the multiplayer. Yeah, that's what Dan was saying before, too. Yeah. I think Dan wants to stream um, game civilizations. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I can't, yeah. Are you going to be okay with, like, talking through all of your decisions? And he's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, uh... Yeah, I beat... I beat with lies. <laughs> <laughs> lies to what, exactly? You <laughs> <laughs> did say you wanted to stream it. That was not a lie. Yeah, the uh, yeah I beat with my second civilization last night. Um, I I just say the Nubian Empire because I don't know how to pronounce her name. <laughs> so, um, oh, did he play for twenty four hours? He totally did. Is there a way to check how much game time? If you're playing yes, it on sir. Steam, if you're playing oh, on playing Steam, it. it should absolutely tell you how much time you've played. We're playing Epic on might, Epic. I don't know where to find it on Epic. Let me see. I'm gonna Epic, try to find it. Epic should have it too. It should definitely yeah. have it. Yeah, Steam is like immediate. As soon as you pull it up, it says mm -hmm. it. And it tells you the last time you played it. I wonder if in the save file it says it. No. It, it I don't think the games themselves track. Alright, Jen, here is James McLeod. Oh yeah, they do. Look familiar? Yeah. Uh, no, maybe. Who is it? <laughs> yeah, we, we said that either it's it's some kind of experiment or something, or it something happened, or Nintendo is uh, promoting bestiality. It's oh. supposed to be. It's supposed to be Fox's father. That's right. Okay, you did say that. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> promoting bestiality. Yeah, I mean, how else would you explain that? Yeah. Uh, by the way, if you go into your library on Epic Games and mm -hmm. click, there's a, a like, and all your games pop up yep. on your library. Up in the upper right, there's a thing that turns it into a list, and it tells you how many minutes you played. Okay. Hey. Time played: thirty-nine hours. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! So let's see. You've had I've the computer for like four days. <laughs> I've played it for, I'll say, like, six hours out of that. <laughs> e even if you played, Fine. you know, you're, you're, even if him and his is just a straight 24. Right. You're, There's nothing you're, wrong with it. Cool. No, you're, you're close to, you know, almost 20 yourself. I just say Dan is a warmonger. Like, so when oh. he first started playing, he was all I nervous. Could... I could definitely imagine that just from the the days when he used to play Battle for Middle Earth. Right. He just would go out and just slaughter everybody. <laughs> That's what he's doing now. So, well, maybe not now now, but oh, there was one part me. there was one part in the beginning where he 
somebody declared war on him and he's like, no, why war? And he got out of war and then he, I walked in the other day and he's like, man, this is boring. I'm gonna go start a war with somebody. <laughs> now he's taking on everyone, he's stealing technologies. <laughs> yeah, oh, he's getting into it. Yeah. So just, just for comparison. And this is only since, um, I'm at 90 hours. Wow. On it. Um, but I've done most of my playing of Civ 6 um, recently. Okay. Yeah, like Civ 5, I'm at 200 hours. So. I had that game a little longer. <laughs> I mean, Civ 6 is still like. Three years old? Three years old? Four, yeah, three or four years old. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I had I've had to five longer. Yeah, I just I like getting these games once they've ironed out all the crap that happens. Yeah, it's a great game. Let's see, I'm well, I, 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 now I gotta play it so we can talk about it next week. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah. So the. Uh... I'm at, I'm at 24 hours on my new save on American Truck Simulator. Nice. Because my original got white. Oh, when no. We did the, when we did the first update. Oh. I forgot to send things to the cloud. I thought that... I thought Steam games automatically saved to the cloud. You have to check a box in some games. Oh, that sucks. Like, uh, Civ 6, you have to tell it to save to the cloud. Gotcha. There's a separate button when you go to save it. I even noticed that. First place. Yeah, like you can tell which games I play way too much of. I'm at 60 hours on City Skylines. Let's Might see. be the next one that I play. I think I had played it at one point, but. Yeah, City Skylines is fun. It's. Boring is the wrong word, but it's not as, like, there's not as much side stuff as SimCity has. Well, it's, you know, it, yeah, it, it has a lot of uh, streamlining. Yeah, it's it's not, it's not, it's like the indie version of SimCity. Right. It, it gets what you want in it um, without all the side stuff, like having to worry about trash negotiations and all that stuff. Lands. Yeah. So, who is nope. your favorite, um, who is your favorite, we'll call them, leader what, to play as? Leader? Yeah. Let's see. see if you can guess mine when you're done. All I know is don't fuck with Gandhi. <laughs> I had him in my last game. He's he's been hovering around my uh, civilization. I don't appreciate it. He gets he it takes him so long to commit to being mad at you. I went back after beating the game, Aww. and you can go just you know wipe everyone off the map if you want. <laughs> and it took me until he was the last Civ standing for him to go. Why declare war? <laughs> uh, aw. I took out four other civilizations. You, like beat him up basically and he'll just yeah I, I surrounded him with uh, a dozen giant death robots oh my god <laughs> <laughs> my god man's gonna be listening and being like ooh death robot yeah that's the that's the highest thing you can get in the game if you oh. uh, research all the way up I always win science victory so I always get the high end shit um, the science victories are the easiest um because domination you have to commit to from the beginning. Yeah, Dan's, uh, Dan, I think, is... Are you winning domination, or are you in second? I think he's in second right now. He was in first for a while. No, domination, that ranking is just based off your... your military strength that they mm -hmm. show. Yeah. To win domination, you have to take everyone's capital. Oh. Um, yeah. Well, not everyone. I'm sure he's to trying take, to do. You have to take the most of... The capitals. Yeah. You know, he's, once, every, yeah. I think he's over 500 turns at this yeah. point. 
That is a shitload of turns. Yeah. Yeah, five hundred's the the uh, the normal. We thought it was again. gonna stop, but it didn't. There's a gigantic loop in this level. Ooh, I do not like this track. <laughs> Many chances to fly off the edge. Is there? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, is there a guardrail? Sometimes there are. Yeah, this. It looks like there's fewer in this. Yeah. I've gotten to the harder tracks now, so. Mm -hmm. There are fewer I wonder guardrails. How... Oh. oh, there's mines. Oh. <laughs> sure. Let's throw in some mines. Did you jump over that last one? I think it did. I it must just be like you can't. It doesn't blow up, but it throws you up in the air. Got it. Yeah, I guess to throw you off the edge, possibly. Yeah. Yeah, my my uh, favorite sieve that I played as recently is um I got all the expansions up until the most recent one. Um, so I'm playing. I played as Canada. Oh, I forgot and there's the, expansion. And the entire time you're playing, it basically plays like the instrumental to O Canada in the background. <laughs> it's great. Do you apologize for everything you do? So Canada is the easiest one to win a diplomatic victory. Yeah. That sounds about Funny. right. <laughs> Call everyone your pal. Most, yeah, they get the most diplomatic points. In the you 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 you're playing vanilla Civ six, so the, the diplomatic stuff's not going to be in there. That came with an expansion, but um, yeah, they start off with like they're the easiest to develop uh, points. Like in, in the expansion, you get the um, which is the whole reason they made it free was so that people would buy the expansions. Well, yeah, um, that's why they did they did the same with GTA five the same yeah, deal they, yeah they, they did, did well they just released a new one the day they made it free ah, um, a new expansion sneaky. so um which i'm not getting because i only get it if the uh if the new modes they put in look fun like i could really care less about the civs like i'm not buying it going, oh crap they put in the you know the luxembourg empire or whatever <laughs> you know but uh yeah so so it's basically it's a, there's a world congress kind of like star wars um and then you get to vote up and down on resolutions and canada gets the most so you can basically bend it to your will if you if you want i didn't understand how it worked at first so by the time i figured out how the points work i had like six times as many as everyone else. Wow. Pretty like, cool. Why do, I, why do I have, like, 2,000 diplomatic points? <laughs> oh, my God. I thought I was using them. Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not. So it made the end game pretty easy to get it to... Like, uh, one of the votes is at the end, you can either vote for someone to get two diplomatic points, which you need 20 of them to win. Or you can knock three off of someone else. Mm -hmm. So I had built up enough, <laughs> like, like favors and votes that, you know, every time it would come up, I would alternate. I would give myself two and win. And then whoever was in second, the next time around, I would knock three off there so there'd be, like, no shot at catching it. <laughs> can I explain how much I, knew I want to scratch my nose right now, but I just can't? Yep. It's always during this kind of a game. I feel like I how dubious they make it that the rival yeah. ends up in first place. Well, yeah. it's it's a race again. They gotta make it interesting. Though your character looks more of like the bad guy than the actual rival does. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, I mean, I'm like some fat samurai dude. <laughs> Like button eyes. There's Job of the Hut with a mustache. And six. <laughs> <laughs> All the different characters. Yeah, so the first two civilizations in the um, 
new expansion are the Mayan and uh, Columbia, like ancient Columbia. Not ancient, the um, the uh, when they first became a country. Is that a drug cartels? <laughs> no, it's a, a, a Simon Bolivar, Bolivar, or I would say thing. Bolivia. Oh, Simone. Oh, okay. The guy. Yeah. The, the person. The guy. Um. He was the one. The only thing I remember from him is he was the one that uh, like chased Spain out of South America. Right. Gosh, this track is giving me anxiety. Yeah, let me just say, you guys are gonna hate this game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I will. <laughs> this is too much for me. I'm I'm loving this, but it's. Oh, you're tough. good at it. I play a lot of racing games. Yeah. As you can tell by every. Somehow, I own so many games, and somehow every time we get a retro light game, it's a freaking racing game. I don't know how you're able to even, like, formulate a complete sentence right now while you're playing this part. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. I would need total concentration. I'd still not be able to do it. Hey. Oh, There's a man. Velociraptor in third. Yeah, I played as him in the first... One of the first uh, cups. He's, his name is Bio Rex. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is. Oh. King Cup. Is there. An is it Ace the same Cup? cup structure as the SNES game? Yeah, but there's more. I think there's two more. Two more cups after this. I, I'm not I can, sure. I can never imagine doing that ramp. Oh. Wait, it's ramps and waves. Really. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, wave race has done have shit on this game. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> how Santa Claus is. The Santa with the goggles on. <laughs> Telling you you have boost power. Come on now. We, we all know that's just uh, Dr. Light. Dr. Light. I'm still amazed that um, our friends John and Mandy dressed up as crazy scientists for Halloween and they look like Dr. Light and Dr. Wiley without even knowing who those Without are. even trying? <laughs> I don't know that John's ever like played Mega Man for real. Yeah. I was like, oh man, I was like so excited when I saw the photo. I was like, who's that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> And, and the only way John can do that is not even being mean. Just no, he just doesn't have a clue. He doesn't have a clue. He's like, who's that? <laughs> but it was so spot on. It was. It's amazing that they didn't have. The only way it could have happened was if they bought um like the pre-made costumes. costumes. And, and all it said was crazy scientist. Mm -hmm. And it was like one of those, like, you go to Halloween Express or whatever, the main, the stores just pop up for a month. Yeah. And that's like Spirit of Halloween. Too. Yeah. We were mad this year. Our Spirit of Halloween didn't open, like, until three weeks before Halloween. It was weird. Yeah, we have one that's open all the time, which, oh. which is the only joke from that new... Um, the new cartoon from was it Justin Rowland or whatever. Um, Mark, can you do me a favor real quick? Yeah. Can you look up what the stars mean? Uh, 
It's telling me I have two stars, but I don't know what that means. A double star. You upgrade your um, ship? I wish. I don't think that's the case, though. The, uh, the Tyrannosaurus Rex got third place. With his little arms. Oh. Tried. This is F0X, oh. right? Yeah. The end of the game? The end of no. The game. Okay. Oh, there's oh. a there is a rainbow road. God damn it. Oh. It's like because oh, you've been this... thinking it this whole time. Of course there is. This is gonna suck. Joker Cup. The character is connected to the car. It's not like you could pick a car and then pick a character. Yeah. Yeah, the character and the car are one and the same. Oh, so you get a star for knocking someone. It says, if you defeat a car either by pushing it off a cliff or reducing its shields with attacks, uh, you will gain a star. Huh. You get five stars Ooh. and you'll get a free light. Brutally murdered someone. Interesting. I didn't even know there were attacks. There aren't. I mean, you just push people. I don't think you can attack that I know of. Unless boost boosting counts as an attack. the rainbow stuff because it got to show up all the colors and you could do it 64 bits and graphics it look cool yeah i mean they gotta throw in some references over here and every now and then they have a freaking star fox character for god's sake The um the Smash Brothers guy, Captain the Falcon. Creator. No, the creator. Oh, uh, what's his name? Um, I can't remember his name. He does Kirby too. Yeah. It's Hal Laboratories, but I can't think of the guy's name. Sakurai, that's it. Sakurai, that's it. I was, yeah, I was going to say Miyazaki, but I'm like, nope, that's not who it nope. is. <laughs> <laughs> which, which, by the way, uh, before something came up like a couple months ago, when they put uh, Princess Mononoke in theaters for one night, I was like, I might go see that in theaters. I don't know how it would translate to the big screen. That would be interesting to see. Yeah. I have a feeling this is going to be a very difficult couple of tracks. If that was the first one. If yeah. that was number one. I'm looking through my Steam library. There's uh, there's so many games on here that I don't think I'll ever play that I got for like a dollar. A lot of the games in my Steam library that I'll never play, I got for free. Are there attacks in this game? Do I not know how to do them? I don't know. Because I see guys like spinning, and I don't know if that's an attack or what. Again, don't own the manual, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> yeah, like I got the racing game Grid. Oh, Grid's a good one, though. That's, a, that's actually a good I'm racing game. I wouldn't, you know really play. Um, I got Her Story, 
which, you know. Um, well, I have Inside and Limbo and all those games, and I'll probably yeah. never play. McPixel. I heard that was good, though. But, uh, I have Thomas Was Alone. Like, games like that that I'll probably just never touch. God bless this thing, so. Uh, I'm trying to see what's the... Like, oh, my shit. favorite thing is all those, um, what's it called? Uh, RPG that was bullshit. I fell onto the track. <laughs> um, all those bullshit, um, art, not bullshit, but RPG Maker games that came free with Humble Bundle sometimes. Yeah. Like, I have one called Sweet Lily Dreams. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> but the, but I think I got Psychonauts for free one time from Humble Bundle. Yeah, but the uh, one photo I see of it, I remember because I have uh, RPG Maker because I bought that for $4 one time. Oh, I don't like this view. Oh, I got a star, so I must have knocked somebody off. You got power. What did you say? If I get five stars, you get something? You get free life. Okay. Luckily, I haven't needed them, so... For the most part. I guess it's a strategy on harder levels. Probably. Mm -hmm. I wish I knew how to do an attack, because I don't have a clue how to do that. It's, it's like in Road Rash. I mainly do the physical stuff just for fun. Like, you don't really yeah. need to do it. The only people you Yeah, really but I mean, if, like, if I was, like, right next to someone, and it was I was about to end the race, oh, I yeah, could knock them... Different. But like knocking out the people in like twelfth and thirteenth place really makes. Oh, it's just that's just having fun with it. Yeah. Which I, I need to get. I started figuring out the pattern. In that, when certain things come into play, like I think it's like eleventh place or tenth place is when you first start seeing weapons. Mm hmm. Yeah, and then. Yeah, my new favorite moment was I finished, I think I told you in the stream or the podcast or something. Um, I came in third or fourth because me and uh, one of the guys was first and second, and we both hit the same car as it came over a hill. <laughs> yeah, you, you, I think you told me that on the podcast. It was a podcast, yeah. It was, that's been my favorite moment, Road Rash. In, I need to play podcast. that been so long since I played Road Rash. Yeah, like I said. Two is a better game. Um, three may look better, but two is... Oh. I don't know how you stayed on the track. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I, it just kind of was like, oh yeah, this is what you're doing now. It's a crazy long time to be in the air. Especially when you can't, when you have the N64 fog and you can't tell where the hell you're going. Yeah. yeah. So have you guys tried setting up your uh, your PS2s and your Dreamcasts yet? Not yet. Yeah. I still got a... I forget how I set up PS1. I know you just have to put that one thing in the BIOS or whatever. Yeah, you have to put the BIOS in, in RetroArch and it should work. Yeah. But honestly, if you're going to actually set up like real your PS1, PS2 stuff, PS1, you want to use EPSXE. It's the best uh, PlayStation emulator. Uh, PS2 is PCSX2. Um... I think they just released a new version of it. And Dreamcast is Redream. I think that's probably the best one. I think I've heard of that one. 
E, P, S, X, E, you said? Yeah, for PlayStation. I'm pretty sure you need a BIOS for, for E, P, S, X, E. P, S, X, E. All right, I'm rolling. Let me hopefully not screw it up. Do we have to download all this? Yes, I went to it when you said it. It's okay. <laughs> um, all of this uh, shaders pack and all that stuff. Uh, I think it's automatic. Or right, which is that? EPSXE. Yeah. I think it should just be in a bundle. Yeah, because the Windows one is also Windows 32 bit. I don't know if that's a problem. No, it should be fine. I think it's just old, but it should work. Yeah, I fine. can tell by this website. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can play PS1 through RetroArch, but there's way more options in EPSXE. Hmm. I think I have a PS1 emulator from RetroArch, but I haven't really used it, I don't think. Yeah, that's... You have to go through um, the whole process again from FF7. Yeah. If you have any interest in continuing that, that is. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about it before. Like what you guys I feel like... A different game or... or... I, I would love to see you continue that. I think you're, like, right at the point where the game starts to get good. Really? Like, really good. Yeah. Because it's where everything starts opening up. And with this, would I be able to... My disk drive's still hooked up, correct? Yep. No. Yeah, you can put in actual disks and play them with that emulator. You just tell it to run disk and it'll read it right from your DVD drive. Okay, one more. Then on to the freaking hardest one. Wait, are there five tracks or six tracks? I don't remember. I, <laughs> um, I don't remember. I think it's six. Oh! This one is dark. Yeah, so I was watching uh, someone play through um, uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Hmm. And I, I realized, A, that I was right about that one game moving a lot like an SMT game that Xbox showed. Um, that, you know, sort of like Astral Chain, that game. Oh, yeah. And two, uh, I realized that Persona is probably the least problematic <laughs> of that genre of games. because, you know, all the people playing the game, and they were on the side that the localization changes were right, but they mm. were just pointing out all, all the stuff they changed um, over here, and I was like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, in those games, they usually change a lot. Yeah, they had, one girl basically was like, uh, uh, fought in like, uh, uh, happening chaps, now? chaps and a, uh, like, like thin bikini bottom, and that was it. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Yeah, I had no idea what it just. Also, the resolution changed on my end. What the hell? I like hit the wall eight hundred times, so yeah, it may have screwed, may have screwed something up. Also, I know these sites have been, like, when you click off for other sites and come back, they, like, start you off at 480. I know YouTube's been doing that. Yeah. 
YouTube's been starting me at 480 a lot. I know they're like... Yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. They're trying to keep bandwidth open, so they're starting people at 480 and hoping they don't notice. Which for a lot of people won't matter. For me, I notice immediately, of course. Well, I'm, I'm not a... saying we wouldn't notice, but sometimes people just put on YouTube in the background. Yeah, but when I'm watching it, like, yeah, I'm like what? This looks like garbage. What the hell happened? Yeah, you. I don't need. I don't need 1080 60 to listen to lo-fi beats to chill or, or study to. <laughs> yeah. Come on, hold it together. But anyway, here. finishing the. Uh, I watched that. I'm like, oh, this is. This game's so anime, I would love to play it on a stream. Tokyo Mirage Sessions? Yeah, yeah. Did they come, Did they release that for the Switch? Yep. Okay. I was going to say, I, that was like one of the last Wii U games that they didn't yeah. port yet. It just came out like a couple months ago. But I would rather, if we're going to play one on our stream, I'd rather be Persona 5. Understandable. You just know you like that game. Yeah. You've played it. Well, not even that. It's just the whole high school element is a lot better than the insanity that Tokyo Mirage Sessions is. Like, Persona well, Tokyo good... Mirage Sessions is like it's about kids that are like performers, right? Or something Idols, like that? Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's very, it can only be made in Japan and set in Japan. Like, one of the characters is basically, um... Oh, I'm sorry, Mark. So look at the track. Big hand, deadly curves. <laughs> Whose hand at Sega do you think that is? is that I don't know. Did, or did they force a low-level programmer to do that? <laughs> or or hey, was it the give... designer? It was like, that's my hand. <laughs> give me your hand. We're going to turn it into a track. That's how you know Sega made this freaking game. It's amazing the timing of this. Because this came out before Dreamcast? Yes. So weird. Judge how well, much maybe, not... maybe, it wasn't th maybe it wasn't this one. Maybe it was only GX that Sega made. Yeah. I mean, I could very well see them if they made it. Because I, I know they made... I know for a fact they made GX because... The, it was for the GameCube, and they were making yeah, they were making GameCube like they, they made Super Monkey Ball and all that other stuff for the GameCube. Yeah, wasn't that weird Sonic game, or is that on the Wii? The one where he kisses? Oh no, that Sonic 06 is where he kisses a, a real lady. Uh, yeah, you're thinking of Sonic Adventure. They put Sonic Adventure one and two on the yeah, GameCube. There's one called Sonic in the Black Heart or something like that. Sonic Black Boom? Knight, Sonic in the Black Knight. Oh, God. I hate <laughs> ice in these games. By the way, Jen, if you're still there, yes, Sonic does kill so, a human lady. Real games. Yeah. Yep. It oh, it's a whole, oh, whole storyline. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Safe search, 100% on. Safe search on. Sonic. <laughs> Is a man. Lady. Watching a video. It's a cutscene, so. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Sonic shouldn't be the too Black bad. Knight was a Wii game. Sonic? What the? I've never heard of that. Um. It was in 2006? Sonic 2006. Sonic, is, Sonic 06 yeah. is when that, that happened, Kiss that kissing thing. It's yeah. a, it, it, it looks like a mixture of. After you see the kissing lady scene, uh, search for the opening cutscene, right. and tell me it. Tell me at what point do you realize it's a Sonic game? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, Sonic and the Black Knight was a second entry in the Sonic Storybook series. I have never heard of that. And follow it, it, the first game was Sonic and the Secret Rings. 
It was uh, released in 2009. I knew I knew there was a dumb Wii Sonic game. Well, you could say that I remember it. Sonic games between I, CD I, and Mania. The last like <laughs> weird Sonic game I played was Sonic Unleashed. And that was on the 360. Yeah. Yeah, that was real weird. Did you watch that <laughs> opening? <laughs> I watched the kiss first. Yeah. Really disturbing. Okay. Hey, uh, I beat the Joker Cup. Sonic 06 opening cutscene. Renee. Cutscene. Okay. Sonic 06 might, might be one of the worst games ever created. Is it Sonic Unleashed? No, Sonic no. 06. Weird. It might be called Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog, but watching it now. Yeah, folks is that in like the game a Disney community. movie. <laughs> Fireworks. Yeah, so. not. <laughs> that it looks like a Final game. Fantasy game, doesn't it? In I the beginning. Yeah, it really does. It's real weird. Huh? Yeah, I've only watched people play that game. I've never played it myself. But it's like yeah, like it's I said, like, the last it's the last three D one I played part. was oh yeah. Take take the he kind of looks like Wario there. Um, take the worst parts of Sonic Adventure and make them into a game. Is essentially what Sonic 06 is. Pretty much. Pretty much. She just. Oh, I was gonna say, did she just set her whole kingdom on fire? But it was a. It was like a. Wait till you see who set it on fire. The guy with the crazy hat. <laughs> All right, guys, we're doing the X race. I don't know what this means. Oh boy. Uh, do we have the tour setting on. <laughs> We're gonna have that kiss scene in the background of the track. <laughs> this is the oh, X I don't Cup. See Sonic. Keep going. Oh, oh, there's explosions. Explosions. All right. Uh, also, if if I beat this cup, pretty much whatever happens at the end of this cup, but we're gonna I'll call it. We've been going okay. for an hour and a half already. Oh wow. Is Dr. Robotnik? <laughs> I'm just so glad. Not realistic I'm... at all. <laughs> I'm just so glad that we're getting live reaction from Jen on this <laughs> <laughs> on this thing. I, it fills me with joy. So weird that it's like Final Fantasy and then Sonic. Yeah. It's like they were like Kingdom Hearts. We can do yeah. that. <laughs> I don't even have the sound on, so I don't really know what's happening, but it's really weird. And I like her feathers in her hair that don't go anywhere. Yep. The first time she sees Sonic, and she's in love. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll explain what's going on when you're done. Kicking some robot ass right now. He's yeah, doing nothing. My favorite nothing. part is when you just see the blue boar. <laughs> it's like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Made an appearance about two minutes and forty seconds into the cutscene, by the way. Yep. He has her in his arms. Damsel in distress moment. It's just so weird that like Sonic is interacting with humans. Yeah, like Because even that. like the humans in his universe are like robotic. Oh, it's over. Okay. Yeah. So essentially, um, if I remember correctly, and comments or anybody in chat that's actually played the game um, more than once, God, I don't know why you would have. Um, <laughs> uh, I believe that she sees him as like a prophecy, like that it was foretold that. Uh something will come and save the king or something like that. Mm -hmm. So that's why she's I mean, so that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. 
But why the kiss? I, I just don't get that. I think he's actually like giving her CPR. If I no, remember no. the context of the scene. But yeah, but they don't animate it well enough, so it just looks like a kiss. Rather than I'm CPR. pretty sure they. Ki I'm pretty sure they kiss. Yeah. Well, or the scene that I saw was her begging for him to come back to life, and then when she kissed him, they started glowing. Okay. Then she was awake and glowing orange, and then she looked like she died. <laughs> I don't know. It was like a Star Wars <laughs> moment where they switched lives. <laughs> where they switched lives. <laughs> That's the, the greatest thing I've ever heard. Getting to commentary with no sound and trying to get in the context. It, it's like yeah. when we played the quiet man. Oh, making, up wow. her own making up her own I content. think our story was better. Our story was better for the yeah. quiet man, let's be honest. I will think that's the grade. That movie got instantly worse with audio. A hundred percent. It wasn't even close. Oh, to your ex in first place, Tom. Not really trying to hold on to it. These tracks don't have names, they're just called X. So I don't know I don't know if they're like user created maps or what, but it's weird. Like they don't have names. You were doing your little did you know you were doing the QA testing for them after the game's release. <laughs> well, they did they did release a version of this game for the N64 disk drive, which had like downloadable levels. Uh, the um, N64 D. Yeah, the N64 DD, which never came out in the U.S. Just like so many dumb Sega and Nintendo things that only are in Japan. With yep. The most famous being the, um, the micro Game Boy. The Mo that came Game out in the U.S. That came what? out in the U.S., Mark. Everybody I see that buys it goes and buys it in Japan. Because it's cheap in Japan. But what? it came out in the U.S. I think you guys should go to Japan. I mean, I want to go to Japan too, but probably I would love so to many really Japan. cool gaming stuff there. Oh, I believe me. I I had a friend go to Japan. I'm like, dude, if you see any of this stuff, buy it for me. I'll pay you back. Yeah. <laughs> so many like special edition things out there. Oh, oh yeah. So so bad. I'll be back. Okay. So, Jen, what was the first game you played on that computer? Uh, Civilizations. It's a good choice. Yeah. It's a good choice. Up, uh, Not really like stressing Daylight. it much. No. <laughs> what? Far no. Booted up Dead yeah. by Daylight just because um, last time I booted up was on my laptop, and like I said, it, it looked like the original Tomb Raider game. I had to get it down so low <laughs> resolution-wise. It was like shocking how beautiful it was this computer it was amazing it was more fluid than the playstation well it should be yeah it was great I'm happy oh. and civilizations looks good it sounds really good everything looks great even like chrome just like pulling up google <laughs> looks like extra sharp <laughs> there's one thing we got I a nice monitor to go with it yeah I was gonna say there's there's one thing I noticed about the monitor that was throwing me off originally. The I forget what it's called that's built into the screen, but if you look at it from a side angle, the mm -hmm. colors are a little bit more distorted than if you look straight on. It's a bit oh, more yeah. true to color. It's a TN I, panel, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got Rainbow Road again. What the hell is going on with this? Is this a culmination uh, of all of the other levels, maybe? Maybe that's what it is. It's just like, it's just throwing together random shit. And yeah. it's like, here you go. Or they didn't name it. 
Yeah. That might be what it is. Interesting. Yeah, you're because you have a hundred and forty four hertz panel, right? The Luckily it seems your... to be running at that with the HDMI. It's interesting. Yeah, so with that higher refresh rate, generally the panels don't look very good from an angle. You have to like sit right in front of them. Mm -hmm. Which is probably yeah. what, the, what you're seeing. Yeah, I had to angle my screen a little bit more to where I usually sit. That's much yeah. Really good. The huge fan of the computer. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah. The last two days, I haven't been able to use it because <laughs> Dan is. <laughs> He's been over. hogging it. Yep, it's okay. I needed a mental break from. I played Civilizations for a while. I was like, I can't waste my whole weekend sitting here playing that game. <laughs> sure, you can. Yeah, I mean, I could. I would have been annoyed at myself. I like watching him play. I, I like watching people play games in general. Yeah. But it was fun watching him do it because he literally went from like panicking about it. It is hard to pick up not knowing what you're doing. I went from watching him like freak out that people were declaring war to him like doing it and being really strategic with it, which was good. That's and cool. now he's further than I am, so he's like he can give me advice. He knows more about the game than I do now. I Shut up. <laughs> I always know more about it than you. to think he was against the idea in the beginning yep new no. I wouldn't steer you guys wrong yeah excited uh port cable and the controller did you or you ordered one not yet I was going to and I wanted to see if I can get speakers at the same time, just so we can come together. Yeah. I think I'm gonna get when the you ones do you recommended. Okay. Yeah, they're. I like them a lot. They they sound really good. I would recommend make sure when you get a DisplayPort cable, I, I'm just check, double check for me, but I think the latest like revision of DisplayPort is 1.4. Okay. So just make sure that it's up to that standard. Okay. Okay. I'll check after after the stream, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, this is definitely like every track just thrown together. Yeah. Like here it's you the go. Third one, right? This is the out. this. Yeah, this should be my last track, I think. In this, like, what the fuck is that thing in the background? This is oh giants. <laughs> what? Are, what is that? I don't even know. <laughs> Like he's doing some kind of yoga pose or something. Looks like the Wii Fit Trainer. <laughs> I don't even know. It's Dan. Yep, that's Dan. That's exactly who it is. <laughs> and you see her in the game? Are you not watching? How rude. I he saw me dominating. He, he was done. Yeah. Over it. Waiting for this to be done so he could play Civilization again. Yep. Well, don't worry, Dan. I'm pretty sure I'm done now. I just beat the X Cup. I've beaten all the yeah. cups on Novice. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Rocket. Novice. I mean, I'd count that as beating a game, right? I beat all the novice yeah. levels. Yeah, sure. definitely. I don't know. I don't know if I'll see credits. I doubt it. I don't know. I don't know if uh, beating all the novice level, but just knowing that that was novice, I cannot. Im There's like four difficulty oh levels. I can't I imagine what the hardest. No. Yeah, I can't imagine what the highest difficulty level is like. It must be 
impossible. There must not be any guardrails or something. Right? I think. I, I think it just comes down to, like, the difficulty of the other cars, but I'm, like, barely scraping by beating these cars, so I can only imagine what the other ones are like. Yeah. Well, that was weird. Easy. It just shot up. Instead of, like, my picture, it was Japanese writing. That was weird. Never know what it said. I won't, no. Not unless I learn Japanese, just to, <laughs> just to know what that said. Your life's ambition right there. <laughs> I could just go back and pause it and <laughs> hold my phone up to it. Yep. All right, well. That's interesting. So... Let's race with that. Those are different levels. There's, so these are the different types of things. Like versus battle, I can't go to because I don't. I only have one controller plugged in. Oh, but it's, oh I think, that's cool. I don't know what death race is. Let's just let's check that out. That's intense. Do I? I, wouldn't I don't have know what put I have to samurai do. Samurai, whatever, in this in this thing in this uh, ship. I think I have to destroy all of the other cars, but I don't know oh, how. I... Of them. Yeah, that's supposedly what it looks like. there's like a there's like attacks you can do, but I don't know how to do that. Who's called again? This game. Uh, uh F zero X, right? F zero X, yeah. Oh, and I just. Don't... Attack or a side okay. attack is a search, so maybe. What uh, what buttons do I have to press? Let's see. Oh. Pressing Z or R two times in a row, depending on which direction you want to attack. Huh. And then your vehicle will have a red outline around it if it did it correctly. Oh okay. There's another kind of attack too. down one trigger opposite to the direction you want to go in and then double press the other trigger. Like, it's like shoots you sideways or something. Interesting. I did not know any of this. That, yeah, there you go. Yeah, one. There's no I need to do... do a spin attack if you could just bump into them on the side that seems safer <laughs> than spinning your car out of control. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather not do that. It's like in Wave Racer, I wasn't trying to do any tricks because <laughs> I could barely go over jumps without tipping myself over. Oh, yeah. You can do tricks, but I was like, yeah, I'm not doing it. Like, in some games... Do extra it... points or anything? Do you up? In some games, doing tricks will, like, speed you up, but yeah. I don't think it did anything in Wave Race. Like, it was just, like, something to do. That's not about that. Oh, got another one. This could take forever. Yeah. Considering right, I just learned how to do it. <laughs> hey, Mark, I found out how to attack. Hey. Now I'm I also have to kill doing all 27 people and stuff again. <laughs> yeah. is, this was is this a little part crazy. of the Grand Prix, or did you go into something else? This is a uh, death race. It's called. Beat um, the last of levels. The yep, remake I beat the X-ray. What's that? That's a movie joke. I said the remake oh. of the original. <laughs> Death Race. Yeah. Okay. The original, obviously. <laughs> it's gonna be so hard when it's down to one person. Yeah, it's already difficult with twenty-seven yeah. people on the track. Was it a button or such? Yeah, it's double pressing. Yeah. It's like double pressing a button, which I would have never done. God was having manuals back then. Yeah, seriously. Yep. Did 
that red rocket ship. It's cool. Got him. The best time is six and a half minutes. I have gone three wow. minutes and I've killed five things. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is you're not speed running this? No, no. Not even a little bit. Waiting till it gets down to the wire to impress us. <laughs> I, just I thought I already impressed you just there. by beating this game. It was impressive that you beat the game. Because I will not come close. I'm saying that right now. That's probably true. Hot Wheels track. Alright, 24 more, Tom. You got this. <laughs> I can't even find any. There they are. I had to, like, slow down to, like, get people close enough that I could hit them. Are you guys so spaced out on this on little loop? It's because it's, it's, I've been going for so long that I've now spaced everything out. Yeah, you're in the same spot. And yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. It reminds me of when uh, in Burnout Paradise when you play throw back, throw, throw down, throw down. I think it's called. You got to crash everybody off the uh, off the track. All right, I'm uh, I'm quitting this. <laughs> this is... Ow. I could be here all night playing this. All right. It's okay. It's good just to we see we got was. through another game. Yeah, I just wanted so to see someone... what it was. I had never played it. Some, some of us are just casual gamers. Tom. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we it's got through another huge. game. <laughs> yeah, they're Ooh. huge. Ridiculous. So, we got through another game on Retro Roulette. That's pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy about that. Because I didn't think I would, because this game is tough. Um, thanks, to everybody, for... I'll uh... be here for the outro, so take care, guys. All right. Good night. Mark. Thanks, Mark. Uh, so, yeah, we, uh, we just released an episode this morning. Uh, we talked about simulation-style games. So that's why we've been talking about Civilization and SimCity and all that stuff tonight because we were uh we're pretty all jazzed up about it because civ 6 was just for free on uh epic game store um we also have a special episode airing on wednesday um so feel free to download that on itunes google play wherever you get your podcast from we do we did a Final Fantasy VII Remake spoiler cast. So, uh, if you enjoyed that game or didn't enjoy that game, feel free to tune in and hear our opinions on it. How long was that? Uh, How long did you guys record for? Uh, almost three hours. Damn. <laughs> Not surprised. <laughs> That's why I asked. Yeah. It was a long one. But uh, every, like, spoiler cast I've seen about the game is, like, that long or longer. So yeah, that makes sense. It's so it's so in depth that game. Yeah. It was uh it was a a thing. So you, you should you should listen. <laughs> it was a it was a fun fun uh, conversation because so we got to talk to our friend Jonathan who plays D and D with us, which I'll talk about. I'll let Jen talk about in a second. Uh, he he's our one of our D and D folks on Stranger Damies, and he uh. He, he and I and Mark all beat the original game and now have all beaten the remake. So we had some interesting uh, differences and opinions on things. So feel free to check that out on Podbean, again, iTunes, wherever your podcast from. Uh, I'm going to let Jen plug some other stuff. Mark usually does this. Hope I don't mess it up. Um, so, as Tom mentioned, we have a and d podcast, Stranger Damies, which is literally just at Stranger Damies, uh, pretty much wherever you can access social media or download a podcast. So definitely check us out. Um, and that will air, new episodes air every Wednesday, so you know where to go to get out, get some new episodes from that. Um, 
And then they called this movie as our other podcast. You could search at the main Damie, uh, which I believe is Instagram and Twitter, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that releases every, is that Thursdays? Thursdays. Thursdays, okay. That's every Thursday. Thought. Every Thursday. And then like Tom said, our new episodes come out every Monday. Um, have a few different social media names, which are here on the screen right now. Um, at Game Vault Pod is Twitter. At Game Vault Podcast is Instagram. And Video Damies at Gmail is our email because <laughs> we couldn't get the <laughs> same name, which is fine. Um, so definitely reach out to us on, on social media, however you want to. We love to hear from you. If you have any suggestions for us to play certain games or if you're listening to one of the other podcasts and want to give us some advice or feedback, um, we're, we're more than happy to, to welcome your, your opinions on there. We'd love to hear from you. Absolutely. Jenny did great. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Um, like Jen said, come, come talk to us on Twitter. We're, uh, we're always happy to engage in conversation. So, yeah. for Mark and Jenny, I am Tom, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. 